I'd like to welcome you again to my webcast. It's always such a joy to be with you. Today we're going to talk about past lives. You know, it's funny because I was watching TV the other day and I saw that they're going to have a feature or uh, some kind of show on past lives. You know, I've been doing this for 35 years. Um, the interesting thing about past lives is you can bring so many things over from past lives. Um, you can bring illnesses. You can bring a uh, predilection for music. Think about Beethoven composing at three. Do you think he learned that in one life? And I like to look at what our Lord said. In my father's house are many mansions. Notice every time he talked about the human body, he talked about it in a form of a structure. Just like he said, I'll destroy the temple in three days. He was talking about his own body. Um, I have found, let's first talk about illnesses, that people who have had, let's say, let's take a case that I know of, tuberculosis in one life, pneumonia in one life, and this life they come in with asthma. And I told a woman once, regardless of what it is, and I've told everybody this in fact, even in my lectures, anything that you've brought over that's of a negative nature, ask God to leave it there and remove it because sometimes, let's think of our lives as a giant 78 record. Some of you don't remember that, but they used to be 78 records. And the needle is in one groove, but sometimes that needle skips. And when the needle skips, you will bring forward all kinds of things. Now don't just think you bring bad things forward because I know you can get rid of a lot of phobias and anxieties from bringing forth the past and releasing it. But you also can bring forth, ask God to help you bring forth, let's say your artistic ability, your performing ability, your personality that was great, your charisma, so you don't have to be captive in one life. But the important thing is to say to God, please let me keep my needle in the groove of this life. I'm also convinced this is where multiple personalities come from. The needle slips back and forth. Because whether you're going to talk about the three faces of Eve or when Rabbit howls, Trudy, Every single one of those, and thank God her psychologist was smart enough to realize that she was a French woman in one life, that she was a soldier in another life, and all of those personas, even though she was herself, came back as almost real people. So she would change, do you see what I'm saying? But in a small way, you bring so many things over. Like I've had people that were very poor and say to me, my God, you know, why do I keep always thinking that I should be rich or that I love gorgeous emerald headdresses and things? And then you find out she was a, a great princess or an empress in a past life. And that's where she got it from. Hi, I hope that you really enjoy being with me talking about uh, past lives and what they do to affect this life. So if you tune in, especially with my inner circle, uh, you'll learn all about what to do with past lives and your phobias and your fears and your hopes, your dreams, and what you can accomplish in life.